All right, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. The core principle behind Brandon's training is simple. Control, train, treat. That means before any training can be done, control must be established. This is especially important for a dog like Terry, whose over-the-top energy could pose a safety issue for potential new owner, Lee. Because she's so jumpy and so bouncy, I'm not gonna go for the traditional double leash lock-off today. I'm gonna put her on a small stool. So I place her on the top of the stool, and instantly she realizes that she cannot go anywhere. There. Is that hard? Now you can't move. Now she's focusing. Much easier to train you. Once I see a few seconds of her remaining calm, I reward her with a treat. Good, good, good. I'm looking to not only extend the time that she's up there, but I want her focus to be so sharp that nothing can distract her. Stay there. Good. Control, control, perfect. Over the next 90 minutes, Terry perfects the art of control. Stay there. There you go. She was actually so content on the stool that she didn't even have to adjust her body. She simply looked at me as I orbited around her. Good, perfect. That right there convinces me that she now has control. Easy enough, right? All right, come on, Let's start training. Over the next week, Terry puts her terrier intelligence to good use. First, Stay. mastering all seven common commands. Then, working on her curb appeal. We're gonna go like this, we hit the curb and we stay. Nice, good. Again, same thing, what do we do? When we see a curb, we, nice. You continue to stay there, stay. And nice, perfect, okay. But a rock solid stay isn't the only special skill she'll need in the Penny household. Since Lee is physically unable to pick Terry up, Terry will also need to learn how to jump into a car on command. Come on. It's very easy. We take a treat and get up there. Good, good. Naturally, Terry just jumps up there effortlessly. This right here is a little too easy for her, so I go ahead and open the tailgate up, and she starts jumping in the back there. Oh my, wow. Okay, yeah. You have no problem jumping in there. Wanna try it again? Get up there. Uh, yeah. Not only is she jumping up in the back of the truck, but she's jumping effortlessly. And then the light bulb went off. I've been sitting on a pot of gold this entire time. Come here. I'm gonna show you something. When a dog has a natural hidden talent, I hate not allowing them to be athletic with their skills. So today, Terry will be learning probably one of the more fun things a dog can learn. She'll be learning agility. Not only is agility a great way to expend excess energy, but it also serves a greater purpose in the Penny family. It'll be a fun way to engage Lee and Nancy's grandchildren who visit quite often. The first thing I'll be teaching her is the high jump. I lower the jump all the way to the ground. I take a treat out and walk her back and forth, and she simply walks over it. And then we go back over. Nice. From there, I raise it up an inch. And we go over. Nice. From there, I raise it up a little more and a little more. Now the game changes because now she has to gain speed. To keep Terry from running underneath the bar, Brandon attaches a rope. Because I don't want you cheating. So again, I lift it up a little more and a little more. By the end of the session, the high jump was raised all the way to the top and Terry was launching over it like an Olympian. Come on, hop, go, go, hop, nice, and hop. This dog was built for this stuff and I can't wait to see what else she can do. Come on. Very good boy, excellent work. Up, up. Very good boy.